afternoon, 16.50, the flag's up, and uh, away they go, once again, Desert Thief, a little bit slow to begin, and, uh, well, the jockey's hard at work already to give him a couple of cracks behind. Right, uh, there's two horses going off to the front here, there's Kimberly on in the outside of him is the Barrister, and uh, they've opened up a massive lead here of at least four, five, six lengths to your favourite Never Fear. These two are going quite hard up front, and there's a massive gap between him and the next horse, the favourite Never Fear. Sitting up into that fourth place now, that is uh, Sir Capers. On his outside is my selection. That is great. Green Street Tractor, I beg your pardon. He's been caught a little bit wide as Green Street Tractor. Then we got Desert Thieves, Xanthus. At the back of the field is Redwood Valley. Uh, they're starting to be a little bit more compact now as Kimberley's out in front. He's gone quite hard. The pace is on uh, in the first race. He's gone clear by about two lengths from the barrister. Never Fear now makes up that ground. He's caught up to them. He's in a very good position, your favourite. Then we go to Sir Capers, and once again, uh, unfortunately, Green Street Tractor has been caught wide the whole way. So he's going to battle from there. Then Desert Thief, he's already come off the bid. Xanthus and uh, to Redwood Valley, uh, he's made up some nice ground, and he starts to move up a little bit closer. They're just about to go over that final road, and Kimberley still leads him. Now the barrister moves up on his outside. Never Fear is just looking for that gap. In fact, the jockey has a look of his shoulder. He's going to go for the outside side run. Kimberly still out in front as they turn into the home stretch. He goes clear by about two lengths. The barrister starts to put on the pressure now. Here comes your favorite. That is uh, Never Fear. Never Fear, but Kimberly still keeps on going, but here comes Never Fear. If you've backed the favorite, he's home and host. He goes clear by about two lengths. Redwood Valley's running on, but he's not going to get to Never Fear. Never Fear wins it from Redwood Valley. Looks like uh, Sir Capers ran on for third. Green Street track was hopelessly wide. The flag's up, and uh, where they go, they jumped in a good line. Uh, Machina got a little bit squeezed, but he's still trying to get through that little gap there. Right on the outside, Starsky's got the most speed, and he looks like he's going to go off and lead. All aboard's also right. He's quite prominent in all aboard, and I think he's going to end up with a good position. Once again, Manuel Nunes, he places these horses so well. So Starsky's off to the front. Moving up on his outside is Machina. We're just waiting to get all aboard covered on the fence there. Now he gets a little bit of cover. He's taking a little bit of a hold, is uh, all aboard. On the outside with the Turkle and White, that is Napoli. They're going very, very slow here in the second race. Moving up on the inside with the pink and grey colours, that's Derek David. He's above. He's aboard uh, Uncle JB. Then we go back to Julia Dar. Black Indy second from last. Kamal Kavu's going to be called three wide. Right at the back of the field is Glitter Rock. And uh, he's getting a little bit of a slap on the shoulder already. A star ski now. They start to quicken up the pace a little bit. Machino's trying to get in front of all aboard there, or Machino. I don't know if uh, Manuel Nunes is going to allow that. He's happy with his position in the box seat. Behind them in the Turk put turquoise and white colours. That is Napoli. Kemal Kavu has been caught hopelessly wide. So is Julia Dar. Glitter Rock. He's second from last and he's been pushed along the whole way. Is Glitter Rock. He's really battling uh, uh, early on in this race. And Starsky still goes off in front. Machino, the blue and white colours. Now Kamal Kavu has decided he's going to go around them. All this time, all aboard has been sitting beautifully in the box seat. He's travelling very, very well. Napoli is also there on the inside above Uncle JB. Then we go back to Black Indy. You had to take us a bit of a check there. And Glitter Rock still been pushing with those blinkers all the way. Starsky still out in front. He goes clear by about about two lengths now. Machino, here comes all aboard. Manuel Nunes puts the pressure on them. Manuel Nunes on all aboard now quickens up nicely. Machino's trying his best, but all aboard has come to the front. All aboard, but he hasn't given up on the inside. All aboard's trying what he can. All aboard's going to go off and win it. All aboard wins it from Starsky, who really battled back gamely. But uh, all aboard was too good for them. Right, the gates crash open and uh, away they go for the fourth race this afternoon. Getting off to the lead there. Looks like Heart of Darkness. He's been urged along there by Shaki. Right on the outside, Kududu's also got a lot of speed. Silver Heritage had to take a very bad check there. And, uh, well, it's, it's, well, yeah, he just had to take a very bad check. Right, so out in front is Kududu. On his outside, Heart of Darkness, moving up into that box position. That's Choir of Angels. He's in a nice position today. But could it do? They've taken a little bit of an ease back, and uh, they've caused him to sort of like stack up a little bit. This isn't helping Silver Heritage, who's now been forced three wide. So Silver Heritage, the horse that I like, uh, in fact, every horse I like today has been caught out three wide. Could it do out in front? Heart of Darkness moves up to his girth. Silver Heritage on the outside of them. He's wide. Then we go back to Choir of Angels. He's in a good spot. Then we've got the colors of Seattle Kid. He's in a nice position. Inertia is also there. Clipper Captain with the all red. Then we go back to Marauding, your favorite. He's second from last. And at the back of the field is the Brass Bell. They've gone on the road. Kudutu leads him. 
Moving up in second is Heart of Darkness. Choir of Angels now gets uh, a little bit of a urge there from jockey Nourish Aglow, but he's going quite well, his choir of angels. Right behind him, Seattle Kid. He's probably traveling the best, is Seattle Kid, as they've turned into the straight and could it too. He goes clear. He's so here, Glenn, by about a half. Now comes Clipper Captain, right on the outside, and he looks like he's finishing the best. Now Marauding quickens up beautifully on the outside as well. Marauding, and right between them, but Marauding's going to go off and win it. Marauding wins it. Well, the favorite wins it from Seattle Kid. Clear at the 1600 for race five, and uh, away they go. They jumped in a perfect line for the fifth race this afternoon. Being forced to run early on is Paddington's luck. Right on the outside, that is Al Sacro, who's got a lot of speed. Euroclodian as normal, he goes off to the front. So Euroclodian, as they go past the winning post for the first time, Paddington's luck is quite handy. I would have preferred to see him covered up. Al Sacro has been caught quite wide at this stage on the inside of him. We do have that a Supreme Orator on the fence is Divine Connection. He's got a lovely position as Divine Connection. Behind him is Talbeck. On the outside of that is Cyber Special and being caught wide right on the outside there. That is Burke, the grey horse. He's been caught three wide the whole way. And at the back of the field is Wordbuster as they've got they've slipped into that back straight. Euroclodian leads him. This is where he likes to be, Euroclodian. Paddington's luck with the brown colours, the brown cap. He moves up to the outside of those side blinkers. Al Sakra and Burke, they've been caught three wide the whole way. Supreme Oriators there as well. Divine Connection, he's probably at the best position throughout this whole race. Although he is giving up a little bit of ground, his uh, Divine Connection. I'm looking for Cyber Special with that yellow cap. He's travelling beautifully with those blinkers on today. Talbeck's also traveling well. Wordbuster's still the back marker as they're just about to turn into the home stretch. And Euroclodian, Manuel Nunes says, let's go. He goes clear by about a length. Paddington's Lux really battling on these outside. So on the inside between them, Divine Connection is now looking for the gap, and he quickens up well, Divine Connection. Divine Connection, right on the inside, Euroclodian. Cyber Special starting to run him from behind. Right on the outside, it's Word Buster and the Grey Horseberg, but Euroclodian and Manuel Nunes. But on the outside, Word Buster flew up to get there. Well, Word Buster came from absolutely nowhere. And uh, where they go, they jumped in a perfect line for our six races this afternoon. Let's him sort him out. Edge of the Sun's going up quite early. In Your Dreams has got a lot of speed. And the horse with the most speed is the sprinter, that is Rahib. He's also got a lot of speed on the outside. And he might just go around Edge of the Sun as they go towards the 1,000 meter. So, in fact, Rahib and Edge of the Sun, these two racing eyeball to eyeball. Uh, right behind them is Trip to the Sky on the outside of those In Your Dreams. Patrol Officer's got a lovely position with Derek David with those yellow colors and white blinkers. In fact, he's taking a little bit of a hold today, Patrol Officer, which is a little bit unusual for him. The all red colors on his outside, that's Hastine. Then we've got Ocean Drive South at the back of the field is Blow in the Box. Edge of the Sun, he's won that battle for the lead now. He goes clear by about a half a length. On the outside is Rahib. Then trip to the Sky Patrol Officer is now traveling a little bit better. He's a little bit more relaxed. On the outside of that is In Your Dreams. Then we've got Hastin. Second from last is Ocean Drive South and Blowing the Box. Your back marker as they're just about to go into the home stretch for the six this afternoon. And Edge of the Sun is traveling beautifully as he's just about to turn into that straight. Rahib is probably cried enough. He's come off the bit. In Your Dreams. Derek David has pulled the favorite out three wide and he's trying to make a run of them with those white blinkers. Patrol Officer. So Patrol Officer now comes to the front with Derek David. He goes clear by about a half a length. Edge of the Sun hasn't given up but Patrol Officer is carrying in a car too many guns for them. Patrol Officer goes off to win it from Edge of the Sun. Hastings ran on for third and for fourth place. That was a nice run from In Your Dreams after they are way in racing for our feature race of the afternoon and all of them jumped out perfectly. Let's let them sort themselves out. Table Bay is a lot handier than normal. He's taking a little bit of a hold, this Table Bay. Out in front is Kazar, but they're going very slowly as they go past the winning post for the first time. And Halo from that outside draw is also looking for a prominent position. So Halo and Kazar, these two are fighting it out early on. Table Bay is quite handy today. Then we go back to the white cap. That is Ernie. He's also a lot closer than normal. Then we go to Wild Horizon. Behind that is 10-gun salute, baritone second from last, and at the back of the field is Overshadow. So Halo's won that battle from the lead from that outside draw, but uh, he didn't have to do too much to get over from that draw, and he's going to go off to the front, Halo. He's out in front by about two lengths.
Second up is uh, Kazar. Table Bay now starts to move up a lot closer as well. Ernie's back on the fence with that white cap. Overshadow's been caught wide. Then we go back to the colours of uh, Wild Horizon. Ten Gun Salute's quite far back. And then we've got Baritone. And at the back of the field is Ideal Secret with that lightweight. So Halo still leads him as they're just about to go over that final road. He comes off the fence, Halo. Table Bay starts to put on the pressure early. Uh, Kazar's up in third. Overshadow. Ernie, in fact, a lot of them have come off the pit now. As Halo still traveling beautifully under Manuel Nunes. Table Bay now starts to put on the pressure on the outside, but Halo has skipped clear. Halo is out in front with Manuel Nunes. Table Bay's on the outside. He's the only one that's putting on pressure on this stage, but Halo's still clear. And Halo, Table Bay's coming out at him. Halo's going to hang on, though. Table Bay's going to run second. Kazar finishes third. Ideal Secret runs on for fourth and we got Menelush Venture right they are away for our penultimate race of the weekend and uh, let them sort themselves out Duke Domain's got a lot of speed early on but as usual Gordon sounds off to the front with those uh, white blinkers and green cap Duke Domain's going to sit up in that box position right on the outside of him is Master of Spain then we go to hit him again Chuck he's got that white cap behind them is Sand Path and he's outside is your favorite Northern Spy and uh, nice to see Northern Spy a little bit back in the field today. I think he's got a terrific finish to source. And uh, we just go back after that is Minelush Venture. Sky Flyer second from last. And at the back of the field is Taranaki. So now Master Spain's decided that the speed is uh, a little bit too slow for his liking. He's gone to the front. His ears are pricked, Master of Spain. Gordon Stoon has come off the fence. And these two have opened up a massive lead, uh, Master of Spain and Gordon Stoon. They clear by about six, seven, eight lengths of Duke's Domain, hit him again, Chuck's on the outside, then we go Sand Path, Northern Spy is travelling quite well, but he's going to have to start getting on his bicycle right now, Menelush Venture, Sky Fly at the back of the field, Taranaki, Master Spain's out in front, the jockey's already at work at him, and they've, they've already closed that gap significantly on Master of Spain, Gordon Stoon, Manuel Nunes, he starts to move up as well, I'm looking for Duke's Domain, he's starting to quicken on as well, but Duke's Domain now quickens up nicely, but Master of Spain still keeps going, right on the inside is Sand Path, now Northern Spy, the favourite, gets going as well. Sandpath, Northern Spy, they get to the line. I think Sandpath has got up.